Elizabeth Short was a 22-year-old aspiring actress who moved to Los Angeles in the hopes of breaking into Hollywood. On January 15, 1947, her body had been severed in half at the waist and drained of blood. Her face had been mutilated, with deep cuts creating an eerie smile. Her murder was particularly brutal and shocking, it quickly became a media sensation. Elizabeth Short was born in Boston in 1924 and grew up in a troubled household. Her parents separated when she was young, and she moved with her mother and siblings to Medford, Massachusetts. In her teenage years, Short became interested in acting and modeling, and after the end of World War II, she moved to Los Angeles to pursue her dreams. The police investigation into the murder was extensive and focused on several suspects, but none were ever charged with the crime. One of the most notorious suspects was Dr. George Hodel, a prominent physician who was known for his eccentric behavior and connections to the Hollywood elite. Hodel had been investigated for several other murders in the area and had ties to various celebrities, including the surrealist artist Man Ray. One of the key pieces of evidence against Hodel was a wiretapped conversation in which he made cryptic references to a cadaver being found in a parking lot. While this evidence was compelling, it was not enough to charge Hodel with the murder of Elizabeth Short, and he was never prosecuted. Another potential suspect in the case was Leslie Dillon, a bellhop who had been involved in several other violent incidents in the Los Angeles area. Dylan had a fascination with the Black Dahlia case and was caught tampering with evidence related to the investigation. However, there was no conclusive evidence linking Dylan to the murder, and he was ultimately released without being charged. Despite extensive investigation, the Black Dahlia case remains unsolved to this day. There have been several pieces of evidence that have emerged over the years that have shed light on the case. For example, in the early 2000s, a retired LAPD detective named Steve Hodel, the son of Dr. George Hodel, claimed that his father was responsible for the murder of Elizabeth Short. Hodel claimed that his father had a pattern of violent behavior and that he had found evidence linking him to the crime. While this theory remains controversial, it has added a new layer of intrigue to the case and has spurred new investigations into the murder. In addition to these suspects, there have been several other theories and pieces of evidence related to the case. Some have suggested that the murder was part of a larger conspiracy involving corrupt police officers and organized crime, while others believe that it was the work of a lone killer with a personal vendetta against Short. Despite the numerous theories and investigations, the Black Dahlia murder remains one of the most enduring mysteries in American history. On the other hand, her murder was particularly brutal and shocking, it quickly became a media sensation, dubbing her the Black Dahlia, due to her preference for black clothing, with newspapers and magazines across the country covering the story in great detail. According to a study by the American Society of News Editors, the number of daily newspapers in the United States peaked in the 1940s, with over 1,750 newspapers in circulation at the time. This means that the coverage of the Black Dahlia case would have reached a vast audience, with millions of people reading about the murder and its investigation. The Black Dahlia murder has also had a lasting impact on popular culture. Numerous books, films, and TV shows have been inspired by the case, with some estimates suggesting that there have been over 50 adaptations of the story in various forms of media. This has helped to keep the story in the public consciousness. However, the case remains one of the most notorious unsolved crimes in American history, with new evidence and theories emerging regularly. 
The enduring fascination with the case is a testament to the enduring mystery and intrigue surrounding this haunting and tragic tale.